run. Anonymous TikTok user BV11 says that for the last two years, he's been dealing with unnerving paranormal activity in his home in Texas. He says that it's gotten so bad that he can't sleep without the lights on. So, one night one of his friends is sleeping over when BV11 begins to hear strange sounds coming from his bedroom closet. BB11 wakes up his friend and opens the closet door, only to find nothing inside. Now his friend is actually skeptical and really just seems to be very annoyed by the whole ordeal. But either way, TikTok user BV11 makes it his mission to record evidence of his terrifying experiences. Late one night, when he's all alone, he hears sounds coming from the hallway just outside his bedroom. He quickly grabs his phone and begins to record. What happens next is downright chilling. Hey guys, I think this might be the last time. strange, bizarrely shaped dark figure charges toward him and he quickly slams his door shut. But what do you think this could be? Is BV11's home haunted or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Merton Priory. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations are invited to spend the night at the 900-year-old ruins of the haunted Merton Priory Chapter House in London, England. From the years 1114 to 1538, the Chapter House was a meeting room and part of a gigantic cathedral that no longer exists today. Museum trustee John Hawkes believes that a presence haunts the ancient ruins. Um, I. I've always felt that there was a presence here. There was an extraordinary atmosphere. We may be under a road on slabs of concrete, but, but I, I think that the, the, the kind of spirit we have here is a very benign one. In this room, in the chapter house, yeah, I mean, you're familiar with going into large churches and finding graves under the floor. Yeah. In this room, there were 31 graves under the floor. 31 okay. skeletons were dug up. As the trustee mentions, the ruins were excavated in the late 1980s and 31 bodies were found buried under the floor. The bodies are believed to be the remains of monks from the cathedral and it is thought that many passed away from the plague. That night, the Ghost Tech team sets up their static cameras and begin their investigation. Jeff sits on the floor asking questions of the alleged spirit and then things take a terrifying turn. If there's something that you can do to let us know that you can hear my voice, please move something, even throw something at me, I don't mind. At least I know that you're here and that you're listening. Now I guess I must be sitting on top of where lots of the skeletons were found. Can you come and take a seat next to me? I felt the floor move behind me and I heard footsteps right up behind me. Can you come and take a seat next to me? When we review the footage and audio, the footsteps are louder on static cam one. 
here is the audio taken from Static Cam 1. Hi there. I heard you. Sorry, you made me jump. Jeff jumps up in shock as he feels movement on the floorboards and hears footsteps right behind him. Now, Jeff is normally very calm and composed during their investigations, but he freaks right out and even drops his recorder to the floor and almost breaks it as he jumps to his feet. However, the Ghost Tech team has no idea that they captured something even more shocking. A static camera recording the ruins where the 31 bodies were found captures something truly eerie. A dark figure seems to walk from the preserved coffins on display against the back wall and simply disappears into thin air. The Ghost Tech team has no explanation for what they captured and they believe that they might have recorded paranormal evidence of the spirit that is said to haunt the Chapter House Museum. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. If you found a great ghost video online or recorded one yourself, please send it my way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Abandoned Arcade. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a source for this next video, but from what I have gathered, the footage was captured by security cameras at an abandoned pachinko arcade in Nogano, Japan. It is said that the ghost of a young girl is often seen inside this abandoned arcade. The CCTV footage seems to show a policeman investigating after an alarm in the abandoned arcade was set off by something. What happens next is downright chilling. What looks like the figure of a young girl can be seen following the policeman, but he doesn't see or hear anything. When the policeman turns to leave, the girl can be seen suddenly crouching nearby. Now because there's no source, we'll probably just never know what happened. So the footage remains unexplained. My Haunted Hotel so you might recall from our previous story on Nukes Top 5 that at the allegedly very haunted Ye Olde King's Head Inn in Chester, England, the owner, along with his two friends, actually allow curious ghost seekers to spend the night at the 400-year-old inn and investigate the paranormal activity for themselves. And the guests usually find something spooky. It's all captured by their 16 CCTV cameras and posted to their YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. Well, since our last update, some new spooky incidents have been caught on camera at the hotel. Of course, there are the usual hotel guests who come in as skeptics with a bit of an attitude. Katie, no, look at her. She did it. Where did you go? Oh, it's not funny, Katie. You know this why the dog me. What are you carrying it for? Oh, she's got to bear a side to the back, Katie. <laughs> But then when something invisible pounds on your door, it's likely to change your skeptical mind. But it could be laughter. <laughs> the children are happy. Is there a child? Are you outside that door? <laughs> That's got to be the door. That is the, is the door. Oh my god. You outside that door? <laughs> but they have caught some other chilling evidence that even freaks out the My Haunted Hotel team. In this clip, the team is gathered in the restaurant of the hotel with a group of guests when they experience something that shocks them all. 
I need to hear you, Charles. I need to know who you are. Is your surname Griffith? of evidence is just as astonishing as the first and we are able to document this moment from four different cameras which clearly capture what we deem to be poltergeist activity as a glass is flung from the function room bar i need to know who you are is your surname griffith Is your surname Griffith? Is your surname Griffith? I, I didn't even get on to the fact that there were glasses on the bar, so when something made a noise, I thought something had just moved behind this bar until Phoebe screamed in my face that it was the glass. <laughs> Look, th there is no way. It, it flings back this way. Like, th there's just no way. But that's not all that they've captured at the inn over the last month. In the middle of the day, a security camera in the hallway outside room five captures something the My Haunted Hotel team just can't explain. A shadow figure seems to just materialize at the end of the hallway and then quickly disappears. Harry, Brett, and Danny are shocked and thrilled by what their security camera caught on video. The team says that they have always hoped to capture a full-bodied apparition on video in the hotel. So to watch many more spooky incidents that the team and hotel guests experience within Ye Old King's Head Inn, you can go to the YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. Beware the purple chair. Proud Mother Martina claims that she and her family are terrorized by a dark supernatural entity that haunts their home. Martina has set up a series of static cameras to keep a safe watch on her children, but she also caught some footage that is absolutely unnerving. doors move by themselves and the boy calls for his mother, but otherwise doesn't seem that concerned. But as he continues to play his video game, his chair is forcefully pushed backwards, finally sending the boy running from mama. Cut to another day and Martina is casually vacuuming the hallway carpet. Then this happens. Again, a door moves by itself and Martina's vacuum seems to float into the air as she hysterically slaps and screams at it until it just drops back to the ground. But the creepy activity doesn't stop there. Martina and her son are home alone one night when the living room security camera captures this. The outside door opens and closes on its own as the door handle rapidly rotates as if being turned by some invisible force. 
Martina grabs her phone and is about to record the door when the purple desk chair suddenly glides toward her and her son. The two have had enough and are about to hurry out of the living room, but something seems to forcefully pull at Martina's sweater. So is this real poltergeist activity caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Passing through. Popular urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back on another creepy exploration. This time he explores an abandoned and allegedly haunted factory that was built back in 1916 and has been deserted for over 50 years. Chris makes his first on-screen appearance in this video and just saying, but he looks like he could probably kick a ghost ass. But even he starts to get a bit freaked out as he explores the old factory. Soon after arriving, Chris captures something very creepy on camera. I wonder what these things are used for. It's like these shells are all connected, it seems like. A dark figure can be seen quickly moving out of sight at the end of a small tunnel system. But in the dark, Chris doesn't even notice the strange shape and just continues exploring. Chris sets up a static infrared camera to record himself as he checks out the main hall of the factory. What happens next is downright chilling. Chris is startled by a loud noise, a pale translucent figure seems to actually pass into his body and he spins around as he feels something that gives him chills. That was loud. Almost immediately, another figure appears in a doorframe on the left and seems to be watching Chris. And things just get worse. Chris is suddenly struck with extreme nausea and unfortunately, kind of, uh, well, he pukes. I've muted the audio and blurred the video because it's a little gross, but I wanted to leave the scene in because something happens to Chris right at this moment that is truly bizarre. The same translucent figure from before seems to leave Chris's body as he vomits violently. Now viewers of Chris's YouTube channel believe that he had an encounter with a demonic presence and that something sinister actually entered and left his body. But what do you think? You can watch this entire exploration and many more adventures in creepy abandoned places over on Chris's YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. The Doppelganger. Giovanni Lima was living a quiet life with his girlfriend Laura in Sao Paulo, Brazil. But lately he says their lives have been turned upside down by some truly terrifying events. One night, the couple falls asleep on the couch in the living room when Giovanni is woken up by a very disturbing sound. Que porra é essa, mano? Vem cá. Que porra é essa? Oh Giovanni's girlfriend Laura is asleep on the couch right next to him. 
but chillingly, he hears what sounds like her voice coming from somewhere down the hall. In another video, Giovanni says that he began to feel very ill shortly after this incident and was forced to go to the hospital. As he's filming his chilling story, something happens that he simply can't explain. Muita gente estava pedindo explicações, então eu vim aqui trazer explicações agora. É, eu gravei aquele vídeo ontem de madrugada, quando eu estava dormindo com a minha namorada na sala da casa dela inteiro. É, eu comecei a laçar mal, inexplicavelmente, no meio do, do rolê. Eu, no meio do dia eu comecei a passar mal, tive que ir para o hospital. Então eu também fiquei ausente por causa disso. E agora eu estou fazendo aqui as respostas, a resposta do que, que aconteceu realmente ali naquele lugar. E... E a porta do meu quarto acabou de abrir. Não faz sentido, não faz. Giovanni's bedroom door opens by itself, but when he peeks out into the hallway, there's no one there. Cut to a week later. Giovanni is home alone when things take an even more terrifying turn. Again, a female voice can be heard calling out to Giovanni, even though he's completely alone in the house. He suddenly hears loud footsteps charging toward him, and he just makes a run for it. Giovanni has no idea why and how these creepy events are happening. Some of his concerned viewers believe that he might be dealing with a skinwalker or a doppelganger pretending to be his girlfriend. So now, three months go by and Giovanni is happy to report that nothing paranormal has happened since his last video. And it seems like he just jinxed it all. Because soon after, he and his girlfriend wake up in the middle of the night to strange sounds just outside their bedroom door. Tá acontecendo de novo. Você ouviu o nome? Vem cá. Whatever is haunting the couple is back. And it seems angry. So what do you think is going on here? Let me know down in the comments. Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Kent Burris from the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine might seem very familiar as I've featured updates on his continuing story many times on Nuke's Top 5. Kent has spent five years of his life documenting the disturbing paranormal activity he experiences day and night in his home in Carmel, Maine. Lately, Kent has captured even more terrifying paranormal encounters. One day, Kent is home alone and working in his office when he hears voices and bangs coming from somewhere inside his house. He quickly grabs his phone and hits record. You make a noise? You make a noise upstairs? Jesus! To another early morning, Kent has fallen asleep for the night with his TV on, but at around 5 a.m. some strange sounds wake him up. He quickly turns on a light and when he looks up, he sees something at the foot of his bed that chills him to his core. He immediately grabs his phone and hits record.
A dark shadow figure can be seen standing at the end of the bed, slightly moving or perhaps even vibrating before it just disappears into thin air. So what do you think is going on in Kent's home? Let me know. You can watch many more paranormal moments over on Kent's YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. The Night Flyer. This next video was sent in to me by Nuke's Top 5 viewer Mark from Greenland. So one evening Mark is out in the snow with his daughter walking the family dog. But Mark's daughter spots something truly bizarre up on the hill. <laughs> A strange dark figure can be seen floating in the sky between apartment buildings. Mark misses it and just doesn't understand what his daughter is pointing at. He only realizes what she saw when he reviews his footage back at home. Now Mark believes they might have captured a supernatural being known as a Kivitog an aggressive supernatural entity from Greenland folklore. Anyway, what do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. Hidden in the Dark For the last three months, popular YouTube ghost hunter Franco TV has been on an extensive trip through several countries to explore the most haunted and downright dangerous locations in South America. Now, not too long ago, I featured Frank's terrifying exploration of the Presbytero Maestro Cemetery in Lima, Peru, where he captured some shocking moments that are still unexplained to this day. After many requests from his viewers, Frank decides to go back to the cemetery in hopes of capturing even more paranormal activity. As he's making his way through the giant cemetery, he begins to hear odd sounds coming from somewhere nearby. Okay. Hear it? Hear that? Right over there. Now, Frank is a little spooked by the strange sounds, but what he doesn't seem to notice is that someone or something seems to be lurking just behind the tombstones. Frank shrugs off the sounds and continues to explore, making his way through the giant graveyard. That's when he captures something downright creepy. I'm gonna start heading towards the side area where people end their lives. I kinda wanna look at this place. See if I could probably get some stock footage from it or something. What the hell is that? Hold on. I saw something small there. When brightened and enhanced, a pale face can be seen looking out from inside one of the crypts. Frank spots the peeking face and quickly hurries over to look inside the crypt. But there's no one there. The cemetery is dark and it's hard to see, so Frank believes that he might have just captured a reflection from something inside the crypt. He again shrugs off the bizarre event as something that can just be explained. But what happens next is absolutely Horrifying. That's the front door there. That is creepy. That's the basement area. Right in there. Whoa. I 
Is there another gunshot over there? Did you see it? Now let's watch that again, but this time I'll brighten up and enhance the footage. That is creepy. That's the basement area. Right in there. Something can be seen standing right at the bottom of the crypt stairs. But when Frank shines his flashlight, it just seems to disappear. So could this ominous figure belong to the person buried inside the crypt? You decide. You can watch this entire exploration series of the Presbytero Maestro Cemetery over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. Thanks so much for watching. You're probably tired of me saying this, but my upload schedule is crazy. So please subscribe and click to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. My Instagram is there. Twitter is right there. And a TikTok. Hopefully, I will see you back here for the next video.